Welcome to another Geography Skills presentation. This time we're going to look at how to interpret radiographs and rows charts. Radiographs are able to show multiple types of data on the same graph. They're generally circular with the axis starting in the very centre. Here we can see average wind speeds and the direction in which they are coming from. Least recorded wind speeds come from the northwest, whereas uh, with winds coming from the southwest, you're 50 times more likely to have speeds greater than 3 meters per second. Pause the show to look more closely at the radio graph and what it shows. Rows charts are very similar to radio graphs. They show equal segments drawn outwards from the center of the chart. With the example, we can see that the smallest amount of wind generally comes from the southeast with mainly between 1 and 5.14 meters per second. Most wind comes from the south, however, it hasn't been greater than 10.8 meters per second. You can tell this by looking carefully at the key. Pause the show to look more closely at the rose chart example here. The advantages of using these types of graphs are that you can easily see patterns in data, such as opposite, where Iceland has nearly 100% internet users, compared to hardly any in the DRC. These graphs can also compare lots of different types of data together and arrange them spatially to further help see any patterns. Pause the show and make a note of the advantages of using these sorts of graphs and charts. Some of the disadvantages, though, are that it's hard to plot the data accurately. Anomalies and odd results are sometimes very hard to spot, and it can only work with certain types of data. Also, if the data range itself is very large, then it makes it hard to properly read the uh, chart. Pause the show now and ensure you know a few of the disadvantages of using radial graphs and rows charts. We're now going to work through a typical radial graph to see how they are made. On the left, there is the data of noise levels, which we will be plotting. On the right, you see a blank radio graph of five different sites and a scale from zero to five. The first task is to carefully plot the data onto the graph. Double check that you have matched up the correct data and site, such as site one equals a noise level of three. We're now going to then carefully join up the dots to help show the noise levels for these five sites. We can see now that the data for the noise levels of site 1 and 2 have been drawn in yellow. We then carefully work our way around the rest of the radial graph to join up our answers, ensuring that we've put the dots in the correct place. This now shows the completed noise level radial graph. Pause the show to ensure that you are able to follow the steps to complete your own radial graph.